Hey everybody, Michael B. The Game Genie here, and tonight we're going to be talking about Arcade 1 Up possibly releasing a track and field cabinet thanks to some information that showed up as a placeholder on a Walmart website. We'll tell you more about it right after this. So hey guys, I'm coming to you very late on a Tuesday night. This is going to be one of my latest video releases ever, but I'm getting set to do some work on my Tron review, and I just so happened to open up my Facebook page, and I see something on the Super Game Room Dude Facebook page that kind of caught my attention. So the first post that comes up when you go into Super Game Room Dudes now under new activity up over an hour ago is a post from a guy by the name of Matt Tucker. I found the placeholder for the stool on Walmart. I can only assume the cabinet is not far behind. Underneath it, it says RK1 up, track and field, adjustable stool, $89.99. Click it here so you can see the full picture. It says currently out of stock, out of stock. Now, being the um, investigative journalist that I am, I open up the Walmart.com website and I wrote in track and field adjustable stool, which gave me zero results. So then I even went arcade one up stools. Oh, that defender stool is beautiful. We can't get many of these in Canada. The rampage stool is cool too. I really wanted the final fight one when I still have my final fight cap. But as you can see, I can't find the stool that he's talking about. Maybe if I keep searching, it'll pop up, but I don't see it. That Pac-Mania school is really cool, too. The Galaga stool is really cool. Oh, look at that burger time. I wish we could get most of these in Canada. We can't. It sucks. Oh, that actually came out. I didn't realize that. Anyways, I couldn't find it myself, just for reference. No track and field stool, but he's saying he found the placeholder. I can't personally find it. So you're probably saying, Mike, you're talking about a placeholder for a stool. What the hell does that have to do with anything? Well, it's track and field. And as you all know, track and field isn't released by Arcade 1UP yet. Sure, they've released stools for games that are secondary games on a cabinet. But never has track and field been on any cabinet. So I am going on this assumption, much like Matt said in his post, that this means maybe... Track and field is on the way. So everybody remembers Unqualified Critics did an excellent video last year bringing up from Randy's records. He found the information about the apparent lineup of Arcade 1UP cabinets coming out in 2021. And you can see down here towards the end of the screen, Track and Field with Riser, Marquee, and Deck Protector. So this cabinet was supposed to release September 30th, 2021. But we never got it this year, and there hasn't been much information about it yet. That is, until we see this placeholder that I can't find on the Walmart website for track and field adjustable stool from Arcade 1UP. For those of you not familiar, track and field is one of the great... 80s classic score chasing games. If you watch um, a lot of classic arcade documentaries like Chasing Ghosts, they talk about how Track and Field was one of those games in the arcade. They came up with cheats on how to break the records and how to make sure that every single one, they had the records because of the buttons. It, it's an awesome cabinet. It might not be something that's the first and foremost on everybody's want list, but classic arcade collectors have a place in their heart for this cabinet, so I'm sure a lot of people are excited. God bless Todd Tucky because whenever I'm looking for gameplay or cabinet information on a classic arcade cabinet, you know TNT Amusements is the place to go where you can get some information here. God bless Todd. I suggest everybody go check him out and subscribe if you want to get information on classic arcade games. But here you can see there's the cabinet and here's the game, Track and Field. And uh, there's a switch method. I don't know if you watch Chasing Ghost, you'll hear the two guys talk about it, the team that does it. And they use like a pencil and then paddled it back and forth between the two buttons in order to make the guy run faster. So Track and Field, an amazing game. And this would be a huge win for for classic arcade fanatics in the arcade one-up fan base. So guys, what does this mean? Is track and field coming from arcade one-up? Well, maybe. This is like the slimmest 
margin of hope here that there would be a stool up. A couple things could be happening. First and foremost, yes, we could be getting a track and field cabinet coming later this year, and the stool placeholder is an early indication. So I'm going to put that out there. Thin, thin chance. Number two, what Matt saw somehow is some glitch in the system or fake somebody else made. I can't find it myself, so I've got to be honest with you. This might mean nothing. This might just be hope for the sake of hope. But then number three, there's a possibility that mm, the list for Randy's record was also sent around to other places. So products that RK one up announced last year that didn't come out may have leaked into Walmart and other um, distributors' databases, and they might have already put placeholders there. And what Matt found is a relic of a placeholder that might have been made a year ago that just was never made public and it just never materialized. So are we getting a track and field cabinet? I've got a pretty good feeling we are. I think there is a demand out there for it. I think people would get excited, but I will tell you if they come out with one, expect the million and million videos of people shitting on the buttons because there's very specific buttons people like to use for track and field and make it happen and everybody's going to crap on the quality. So that's going to happen. <laughs> there's no denying that. But I think a lot of classic arcade fans will be pretty excited. People that want to add like the classic games from their childhood, people above my vintage because because my vintage is more like the 90s games, even though I like the 80s score chasers. People that are like 45 to 50 in that age range, they're the ones that are going to be, and maybe even a little bit older, they're the ones that are going to be super excited about seeing track and field, have the memories of playing it, and looking to add it to their arcades. So, yes, that that is possibly going to happen. But if it doesn't come out, you know, that, that would suck. But I don't want to get anybody's hopes up too much. Like I said... This is very thin. This supposed placeholder, which I can't find, may mean that an arcade one-up track and field is coming out this year. My guess is, yes, it is coming out this year, but it's not here till it's here. Anyways, let me know what you think, guys. Uh, which of the three options that I put out there is the right one here? Is this like an old placeholder from the Randy Records days that just somehow got mixed up and left in the system? Is this real? Supposedly no one else has found it yet. And last but not least, is this an actual indication RK one up is coming out with a track and field cabinet? And if so, are you excited? Let me know in the comments. Anyways, guys, thank you so very much for watching. This is Michael B. The Game Genie, and I'll talk to you next time.